Good morning and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. I'm AC and today I get to walk you through this beautiful 2022 Newmar Essex. Now you're probably wondering, yes, it is available. So if you're interested in this, give me a call right after this video and I'll get you set up. Um, this is a 4551 floor plan. We're gonna start right up here on the front. You can see the beautiful color. This is the Alito exterior. It is on the Spartan chassis as an Essex. So you're gonna have 605 horsepower out of that 15 liter Cummins, 1,950 foot-pounds of torque. Awesome chassis, with lots of upgrades, lots of good features that I'll talk about as we go along here. Um, you can see up front, we've got the Alcoa aluminum wheels. We're gonna have the hydraulic steps, which I'm gonna talk about when we go into the coach. Again, beautiful masterpiece finish. I've got the slides in right now so that we can go through the compartments. I don't want to forget up here, this does have dual fuel so you can fuel on either side. You have a nice docking light right under your fuel compartment. Here in the first bay, you're going to have your outdoor refrigerator freezer. So you've got two compartments here that you can set to different temperatures. You can set them both at the same, or if you want to have one set as a freezer, one as a fridge. Depending on how many uh, drinks you're going to have that day. Alright. Next compartment here, we're going to have our slide tray. First slide tray of two. This is going to be the narrow one. It is a full length tray, so it goes out on both directions. Thousand pound carrying capacity. Easy to get all those items. You don't have to be climbing into the coach to get stuff from the middle of the, the bay there. You also get the additional shelf up top here, so you can store smaller items. Up here, of course, we gotta have our entertainment center. We're gonna have our TV and sound bar. You can see right over here, we have our Bose system. There's also a couple of standard outlets. All right, here in this compartment, we're gonna have our wider of the two slide out trays. These again are power, so push button. I joke around a lot, but plenty of room in there for a sleeping bag, guys. All right, our third tray here is going to be a manual. It's only a half tray because we're going to have our Oasis hydronic heating on the other side. We're going to have our central vac system here with all of our attachments. While I'm here, I'd like to point out a couple things, Jody, if you can kind of highlight the frame there on that side right behind the central vac. This, this is our star foundation that Newmar puts in. Strong, true, and robust. Gives you a nice, quiet round. Uh, ride also keeps the coach square so that the walls aren't you know getting uh, moved around keeps everything nice and solid inside the coach and that's something you don't get on all, all motor homes out there all manufacturers it's a newmar thing we've got a nice little uh, compartment here for you know different you can put oil in here different tools just a nice uh, additional space instead of closing it off and not giving you something Newmar knows that space is very valuable. Another thing I want to point out, right up top here, this Essex has the 360 camera view, so you can see the side camera there. When we go inside, I'm going to go ahead and show you that on the display. Seamless windows. We got docking lights on both sides so that when you're parking at night, you got plenty of light. So we work our way back here, you're going to see our tag axle and our passive steer axle back here. Forgot to mention the front wheel on this Essex has a 55 degree cut. Your tag axle back here is going to have an 8 degree cut. That actually turns when you're backing up, when you're going slow and turning into parking spots. Makes it a breeze to park. Really nice feature. And of course, that 15 liter Cummins, you got to have the DEF fluid. This has a 15 gallon DEF tank here. 
up here you're going to see our emergency suspension panel if you happen to lose air pressure you have to get towed this is where the tow truck would add air to these valves to manually air up your suspension just has a little cap like your tire does Yeah, that's a nice feature. It keeps you from getting stranded on the side of the road. This rear compartment, we're going to have our two chassis batteries, our air dryer, water separator, and our particulate filter hides behind this, so it's a nice, clean finish. These are your battery disconnects for the chassis. As we come back around, you can see this is on the K3 Spartan chassis. This has independent front suspension. We've got Bilstein shocks all the way around. And of course, there's Big Red. Plenty of horsepower and torque. We skipped the flux capacitor option on this one because, again, that's a ton of horsepower. You're not going to need any more than that. You got easy access to your oil fill, your tranny fill. There's a ton of room back here. One thing I would like to point out, actually a couple, we've got our block heaters right here. Down here, if you look, when you're on the road, if you buy a new coach, there are a couple things that you really want. You want to buy a starter kit that has all your emergency supplies, a new belt. Last thing you want to do is be on a trip, one of your fan belts breaks, and you're stranded. You carry a kit, a tow truck comes out, or a mobile, uh, mobile tech comes out, they can just put it on for you and get you back on the road. Right, of course, we've got a, a hitch with 20,000 pound towing on this. You're going to have your seven pin connector down here and you're going to have your air supply for your tow vehicle. Rear camera back here, which is also part of that 360 camera view. Beautiful rear cap. Really classy and elegant coach. Of course, we're going to have our side radiator. You can also fill our def tank on both sides. Here's your second fill location there. We're going to have our sewer hose storage right here. You can see down here in between the, the wheels, Jody, you can show that auto leveling system that we have push button, hydraulic leveling, plus also air leveling on this coach. We also have our window awning package on this. The sun's coming in, hitting the TV or hitting you in the face there. All you do is pull out that window awning. Really makes a difference. Here's our water bay. Full house water filter system. You've got your control panel here so you can see your tank levels. Turn on your water pump out here. Paper towel holder. Of course, we've got a SantaCon macerator system. Hot water tap. Also our Maniglock system there. This allows you to shut off water to certain parts of the coach. So if you get a leak in the bathroom, you don't have to stop the whole trip and head back to find a tech. Shut the water off to the bathroom and continue your trip. Really nice feature. Right here we're going to have our 50 amp shore cord. We have a couple outlets, our cable outlet, in case you happen to be at a park that has cable set up. We're going to have our surge protector and transfer switch. And then here's a generator start and stop button. Of course, we got hydronic heating and hot water with, through our Oasis system here on the Essex, as with all new Mar diesel pushers. As long as you have water, you got hot water. Now we're on the back side of our storage compartments. Of 
This coach is just under 45 foot in length. It's probably 44 foot 10 inches. Plenty of storage for those long trips. There are people that live in these full time. And you can do that with a 45 foot coach. Here you're gonna have your eight house batteries on a slide tray. Makes it easy to swap those batteries out when needed. Okay, again, we got fuel on both sides. This has 150 gallons of fuel capacity. You're gonna have 105 gallons of fresh water as well. Okay, here in this compartment, you're gonna have your fuses, your breakers, and access to your HWH front slide for the generator. Okay, we got a 125K owning diesel gen. We have a hot water tap down there, airline connection right there. You're going to have your city horns, and of course, you're going to have your air horns right here. So when that little Prius gets in your way and you got to honk at them. Really beautiful front cap. You can see this does have the collision mitigation system there on the windshield. Front camera for part of that 360 camera. I'm gonna run in and turn the steps off, or on actually, Jody, so I can come back out and kind of demonstrate that. All right, so normally when you're at the RV park or you're parked somewhere, you wanna turn the steps off so they're not going in and out every time you open the door. When you hit the road, they're on. The hydraulic step system here it's going to stop if it hits a curb, touches anything else in the way. It'll stop. You can still go up and down, climb the steps to reset it. You're going to close the door. And then it'll open it back up again. All right. Now I'm going to go inside. We're going to show you a view of the slides closed so you can see how much walkway we have with the slides in. And then we'll pull the slides out. And as I mentioned outside, this does have 105 gallons of fresh water. It's got 80 uh, gray and 60 gallons of black. So as you can see here, I can get through to the refrigerator. I like to eat, so I gotta have access to the fridge 24 seven. And then of course the bathroom, you're gonna have access to the bathroom as well. It's not as roomy as some floor plans. Again, when you have the opposing slides, it's one of the, the challenges is you don't have as much walkway in some floor plans. However, as you'll see in a minute, once the slides are out, you have a ton of floor space. So I'll go ahead and open these up. It's supposed to be 98 degrees here today, folks. So as you can see, I have the day shades down got the air conditioners blasting I mentioned outside this has the Alito graphics it also has the Alito decor and the ginger glazed cherry cabinets This was actually ordered with the King Air floor. So that is a nice upgrade. I get a lot of feedback and comments on uh, MSRPs on coaches. We don't always give those. I do apologize. This one's got an MSRP of just over a million. If you want actual sell pricing, you can always give me a call, shoot me an email or a text.
if you like kind of a medium color um, cabinetry, this is a beautiful coach. The light gray interior, the leather, really goes well with it along with this King Air floor. All right, now the slides are all out. We got plenty of room here. We can start back up front. I'm gonna shut this door. All right, as I mentioned outside, this does have your 360 camera view, which I have set right here. One of the nice features is you can really pick what angle you want. If you're towing, you can have your rear camera here. You can also hit different views and really tighten up down to where the hitch is so when you're getting close to your tow vehicle. Again, I like this angle. It kind of shows you everything around you. If you're backing up, if you're driving by yourself, your co-pilot's not with you, that's a really nice feature to have. This does have your backseat driver camera on the, on the side over there. I'm gonna fire this up while we're here just to show you a couple of things on the dash. This has a ton of features. I could literally do another hour video on just your control panel up here. A couple of things I wanna point out. So I'm gonna to go to your air leveling right up here. Hit okay. You can auto level. You can choose your high ride, low ride. You can always go back to your travel mode. That is how you do your air leveling. And then you can scroll down the screen here. Check your fuel mileage. This does have tire pressure monitoring system, so you can check that on here as well. You can see it's giving you your chassis battery voltage here. You're gonna have your fuel, your temperature, oil, and of course your primary secondary air gauges there and your def. So remember not to neglect your def. If it gets down low and you keep neglecting it, it will put you into a limp mode to protect the engine and you'll be driving 25 miles an hour down the interstate. Not something cool, not something you wanna do. Since this is on, I'd like to show you the comfort drive system. So you can turn the wheel while we're parked, we're not moving and it will bring you right back to center. Super cool system. You're backing up somewhere. Once you line up, you let go of the wheel to put you dead straight, and then you just keep backing up. I've got our shades down, our day shades down, just to keep the heat out. On this side, you're gonna see we have our Allison 4000 six-speed automatic transmission, hydraulic leveling, and again, our air leveling system is on the dash. Here, you're gonna have your tag dump. It's in auto mode now. You can do a manual dump. Your engine brake. There's an on and off button here, and then of course it is a three stage, so you can do low, medium, and high compression. Um, that'll be determined by if you're towing, you know, what kind of stopping power you want. Up here, you're gonna have your lights, dome lights, your high beams, heated mirrors, mirror controls, parking brake. This does have the Kurt Spectrum uh, integrated brake controller right there. Down here is your house and chassis battery boost. So that's the button you would hold if you happen to leave the lights on on the VSX and your chassis batteries go low. You can hold that button down, start it right up. Here's your window control. It does have automatic, it's got uh, traction control. This is where you can override that. And you can turn your air horn on and off. So if you're in the city, you got the little wimpy horn. You want to wake up the guy in the van there doing the producing, you give him the air horn. Really nice. You've got everything on your steering wheel here, wipers. Everything's just really easy to, to catch. I do want to point down here, Jody, we got uh, three memory settings for the seat. It's always good to set one of these so that when it's time to rotate this seat around to the back and make it part of the living room, you hit that button, it'll adjust, and then you can swivel it a lot easier that way. Down here, we're going to have just our AC controls, defrost. This does have controls on that side. If you can show it just on the right side of the passenger seat. 
that way you both have controls now you know if you want to be in charge <laughs> you don't want them controlling it you can shut this off right here and that turns off uh, those controls there visor shades up here you're gonna have your generator start your entry lock courtesy lights so your courtesy lights are gonna be the, the button that's the button you're gonna push if you're driving down the interstate somebody lets you cut around them this is how you tell them thank you right after uh, you get around uh, docking lights overhead fans with low medium and high settings and then your front fan all right now we can kind of go over the front here a little bit more up top just some basic information there's your main control panel right now you can see I have the the climate checked here so I've got the AC set at 68 you can turn on your block here and your floor heat here you can access your cameras your lights and your shades your door locks everything's right here your awning controls your slide outs your exterior lights your LED lights your entry steps turn them on and off I have them off now so they don't close and then your Wi-Fi router on and off passenger uh, windows privacy drapes security lights passenger and driver you have your solar charge controller your wine guard up here is your satellite uh, box really easy simple to use if you purchase from TransWest we will you walk you through our, our delivery specialist will walk you through the coach show you how to use everything answer any questions you have got some nice storage up here again it's small but every little bit helps they have the same on this side here you're gonna have your your Wi-Fi all right so behind the seat here you're gonna have you're gonna have touch pads throughout the coach and have one up front one in the bedroom the bathroom basically every room is gonna have control panel with different settings you can turn all the lights on and off here you're gonna uh, hit the fans the shades if you go to systems that's going to adjust your dinette it's also going to put your tv up and down if you hit theater mode which i won't do right now uh, it dims all the lights brings the tv up and puts the shades down so when it's time to sit back relax that's the button you want to push and obviously you go back to home okay. all right i'm going to go ahead and open up a couple of these shades even though it's warm in here Just to show you the windows on this SX, they're beautiful. Oh. Hit the nightshade by accident. You can see the size of these windows are huge. Plenty of natural light coming in. If you're a little claustrophobic like I am, those windows make a big difference. Nice seating area. This does have the theater seats. You've got your lights here, so you can uh, each have your own, pick your own color. Go purple, blue, red, pink. Nice little spot here for your remote controls, your magazines. Seats are super comfortable. They do recline. You can fall asleep on them. Nice little love seat on this side. And I'm going to go ahead and pull down the TV. Your televator is a nice option. If you're not watching TV, it's not in the way. You can roll it. You know, look out all the windows, get a lot more natural lighting. Of course, we're going to have our nice sound bar up here. And really nice cabinetry. Plenty of storage. Of course, they have soft closing hinges. So you can put a receiver if you've got your satellite set up. Additional storage here. This floor plan is going to have your extension here, your counter extension. So if you're cooking, you've got your induction cooktop, plenty of counter space for all the, the side dishes. 
this dust removed, you can take it outside and cook. I will caution you, if you weren't a receiver, if every time somebody throws something at you, it goes through your hands and hits you in the face, you might not want to carry this outside because you might drop it. So you can always carry a second one if you, you know, if you happen to be that guy. Nice solid surface countertops. These have a little bit of weight to them. Huge stainless steel sink. This unit was not ordered with the dishwasher. So of course you're gonna have all your remote drawers here. Down here, instead of a dishwasher, they opted for additional storage which is really nice. You're doing your dishes by hand, or you like to go out and eat, you don't need a dishwasher because you don't dirty dishes, that extra storage comes in really handy. Of course, we're gonna have a spot for our trash can right here. This also is storage for your sink covers. Plenty of room for your cleaning supplies under there. I like that Newmar does the pull out slide drawers here. Awesome feature, you don't have to be reaching to the back to get stuff, you just pull it out and get what you need. Nice little spice area right here. If you have one of these, drawer similar, maybe Throw me some uh, some advice. What do you put in here? You know, if you're not using it for spices, if you don't cook, you like to eat out, what do you put in these drawers, right? Let us know. Give other folks uh, some feedback, some suggestions. Of course, we're gonna have a convection microwave. Can't watch the movie without the popcorn. You gotta have a place to make your popcorn, and here it is. All right, again, touch pads everywhere. So you don't have to walk all over the, this 45 foot coach to turn lights on and off. You can access everything from different control panels. The dinette, I like to point out, this is a little different dinette. Uh, we don't order this often. Some folks really like this longer bench with the dinette, the dinette moves. You got plenty of room here um, to sit down side by side. You still get the folding chairs that go out on the other side. So this, in a way, kind of seats more people, a little more comfortable. If you like to work at the dinette, you slide this out, you set up your laptop, however you want to do it, plenty of room there. Of course, you can see down there on the floor is our Newmar owner's manual bag. If you have a hard time sleeping like I do, just grab one of those and put yourself to sleep. All right, look at this refrigerator. It's beautiful fridge, matching woodwork. Plenty of room for all your groceries. Freezer. Plus you have that outdoor refrigerator freezer and a huge pantry. This is gonna have six drawers. You can adjust them all uh, different heights. They do lock automatically once you set the, uh, the vehicle in drive. That way your stuff isn't flying all over the road. Here is our half bath. It's gonna have a nice medicine cabinet, storage under the sink. And of course, we're gonna have our breakers and fuses right there in that compartment, which I'll open up for you. Okay, something's not working, always check your breakers, your fuses. I can save you a headache, save you a lot of time on the phone. Nice outlet here, so if you got a razor, curling iron, something you wanna plug in.
tight fit, but they still give you the storage under there, which is nice. All right, now we're in the master bedroom here. Again, you're going to have your control panel on this side, your slide control. Right now, have all the lights on, all the accent lighting. Another overhead compartment here, right over the TV with the Bose soundbar, of course. Nice spot for a receiver, DVD player, whatever you want to plug in. Plenty of storage with these six, six drawers. Of course, they are soft closing, as you can see. And you get another display right here. This is going to have everything that the front one has. You can access, turn on your block heater, your floor heat. You can check your cameras here in case you hear some noises outside and you want to see if somebody's walking around. You can adjust your climate, your generator on and off. Check your tank levels and battery levels. Really nice that you have this right here in your bedroom. So you're not having to walk all the way to the front. King size bed with charging pads on the sides, one on each side. We do have windows. Obviously, I've got the shades down, but you do have windows. They do open so you can get some a little breeze going through there. And then you've got some nice overhead storage. Of course, you have some caps there for cables if you need to run cables through there. One thing to note, when you open these, open them one at a time. If you open one and then do the other, it's going to hit. So you want to open these one at a time. And if you notice, there's an outlet in there. All right, now into the bathroom. There's a small step coming up, so you do have to watch your step. This is going to have your Whirlpool washer dryer. Again, this is a 45 foot coach, so you're going to spend a lot of time in it, hopefully. Hopefully you don't just leave it parked. You'll be out a long time, you're going to want to wash your clothes. Huge shower here. This has the flip down seat your body wash, shampoo, and conditioner dispensers. Got the aqua view system, which helps you uh, conserve fresh water. So you push the button, you let it get hot. Um, any fresh water or cold water in the line will recirculate to your fresh water tank, keeps you from wasting fresh water. Really nice, nicely done shower. Dual sinks. with plenty of storage on each side. I have nice storage, again, plenty of room for cleaning supplies, personal items. Right here, you're gonna have an access panel for the washer and dryer. Medicine cabinet with an outlet in here. Again, another touchscreen panel. Our closet is cedar lined. We got a ton of shelves, some shoe spots there, and plenty of room for your wardrobe. You've got a safe for all your valuables. And back here, we're going to have our escape door. So I got the blind down again for the heat. You pull this panel off right here. The ladder extends and then you get out. Hopefully you never have to use that. But if you do, it's a lot better than going out through a window. So. Again, this is the Alito Decor, Alito Exterior. This is a 4551 Essex floor plan. 
it's a 2022 and it is available so uh, if you guys have any questions additional questions on this coach or any other coach that you see out on the lot or on our website please feel free to give me a call shoot me a text or an email si hablo español me pueden hablar al 720 276-4241 uh, keep the comments coming. I really appreciate them. I uh, would like to keep improving the videos, MSRPs, the slides in, those kind of things. I'll try to address those uh, in my next video. You guys take care. We'll see you in a couple weeks.